Okay, so yesterday I post posted a short video showing a bit of sculpting with a sharp edges and uh, smooth planes and I went to sleep and this morning when I woke up my Twitter was completely on fire. Uh, Mr. Blender Guru himself repost reposted my, my tweet Grant Avid followed me on my YouTube and my Twitter accounts, so no pressure. <laughs> I will start to explain a bit what I did in, on the video that I think it's most people want to know. And after that I will um, show uh, some examples and some other stuff that I I found out with those with those settings and tools and I hope you like it. Let's get to it. So basically we are using the scrape and the fill brushes. We will be using the advanced settings, plane offset. Uh, when we use the original normal, we prevent the angle of the of the brush won't change mostly. We'll be sample for from the from the place we we start using the brush uh, you have also a normal ra radius to adjust the plane if we if we check the plane the brush will remain at the same depth it had when when we start painting by changing the sculpt plane from area to if we use area it will pick the sample from the object but we, if we use view plane for example the normal will, will be aligned to the view that we are on and it won't be able to to change to rotate or uh, move forward and back so if we do it with uh, from the front view we will be able to cut through the the shape and to to be able to go into the shape we will change the plane offset now when we when you need to fill you will use the the fill brush with the same settings and uh, using area plane to to be sure to sample a region with with um, a smooth plane so when you continue painting, you will find that everything comes to this to this plane. That's why we are getting this sharp edge on this new square. The lock on the original normal will, won't let it pass the border, and the sharpness of the border will be determined by the topology. So if you increase the mesh density, you will get a sharper edge. Now if you change the sculpt plane uh, to for example Z plane, uh, the brush will be locked on, on that axis and so the first uh, stroke will define the position on C and it won't be able to change. That's how we are doing this. If we combine it again with the fill brush we can create this sharp edge on the top and also use the scrape brush on the bottom to also sharpen the, the edge
here I'm, I'm showing how you can rebuild this um, sharp corner with the same two brushes. Now I'm using the same technique to show a bit what you can do in different situations. Since this technique depends on views or planes to, to work correctly, uh, I found out that rotating the object, it's a good idea to, to change the angle of the planes. On this case, for example, when this is not a plane, I prefer anyway to use the scrape tool, but without the original plane or normal, because the crease brush deforms too much the mesh. It's more like curved and uh, very useful in a lot of situations, but I prefer this in this, in this particular case. Another way I found to use a custom view to make the, the, the cuts is to use another object, a plane in this case, and you rotate it as you like, then you align your view to, to it, then you hide it and you use this, this view to, to cut. Go to edit mode, select the face that you want to align the view to and uh, press shift and 7 on your numpad.
it's not like this will sculpt for you but uh, I believe that the more tools you have to face different situations uh, the better so thanks Andrew for the the boost <laughs> and thanks to the Blender community that it's always super supportive and generous and helpful so thank you very much I also want to thank uh, Grant Avid I follow you and I think you are the best teacher there is so thank you guys and see you in the next video